And this car has finally been removed from a pole in South Crest after a district attorney investigator fired his gun at a suspected car thief today. 10 News reporter Bob Lawrence is live at the scene, which was clear just 20 minutes ago. Bob? Kim, uh, this area of South Crest, at least at 35th and National, is finally back to uh, back to normal, even after eight hours. That's how long it took. It all started about 11 a.m. when members of the Regional Auto Theft Task Force spotted someone they saw, thought was in a suspected stolen car, and then literally right after that, it became the Fast and Furious. Six hours after shots rang out, the suspected stolen Honda, which had been wedged up against a light pole, was finally moved out of the way. That finally gave utility workers the green light to cut the pole and get it out of the way as well. Technicians spent a lot of time gathering evidence. You can still see emergency lights of one of the undercover cars still flashing. This started when the driver of the suspected stolen blue Honda saw detectives in back and in front of him. A utility crew working on the sidewalk in front of the gas station where this happened said officers started shouting. If you don't get out of the car, freeze, then pop, 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 they start shooting like. A 16 year veteran investigator with the district attorney's office shot at the car after the driver put the Honda into reverse. He immediately, at a high rate of speed, backed into the detective's vehicle that was directly behind him. The driver, though, wasn't done. From Sky 10, you can see the blue car slammed into a light pole, and after that, the driver got out with a gun in his hand and made a run for it. The suspected car thief was captured, and the gun recovered a short time later. Meantime, traffic on 35th was backed up as the street remained closed while evidence technicians combed every inch of the blue car. Gail Green has been living here for years. She said she heard the shots from her living room. You wonder, is it safe to go out or not, you know, day or night? You just never, ever know. Now, the 18-year-old suspect was hit once, we were told, with a bullet and is listed in uh, stable condition. A female in the car, also uh, 18 years old, was taken to the hospital with neck injuries. We're live in South Crest. Bob Lawrence, 10 News.